Welcome back to Level Header Gamer, guys. My name is Joseph, and today we're going to talk about Outriders. And there was a huge, massive leak about various legendary weapons and legendary armor sets. Well, yesterday we talked about legendary weapons. Today we're going to talk about armor sets, and starting with the Trickster armor sets. We're going to go through three different armor sets, and I'm going to break down each piece of gear, kind of how it's going to play, just my thoughts on it overall. But I'm not going to spend too much time on each one because you guys can kind of theory craft it on your own i want to give you just more of a breakdown of which of the armors are going to do and my general thoughts on how useful i think it's going to be trickster is going to be my main class i'll make sure to timestamp down below for you guys so you know where each armor is where it starts and where it ends and this way you kind of know where to jump in the video without any further ado let's make sure we get right into the video and guys if you enjoy this kind of content make sure to subscribe down below as i'll be doing a lot more of these i'll do an armor set a video for every single class there'll be three armor sets for each but let's get started let's do it we're gonna start with the edge of time armor set and we're gonna start with goggles of the edge of time again it's a legendary gear set i am not gonna pay attention to the armor rating itself because this is data mined and it could be incorrect when we don't ever know what it's gonna be like we're just gonna kind of comment on the visually which it does look really cool visually at least the mask and then we're gonna go through all of the mods now, what do we have here? We have the first level 3 mod, which is Double Slice. Temporal, temporal Blade. Damage enemies are additionally cut with an anomic slice dealing 50% damage. And then we got a level 1 mod, Sped Up. Cyclone Slice allows you 25% faster movement while the skill is active. Well, this armor set in general, when you have all the pieces equipped, what it's going to provide you is increased damage from both Temporal Blade and Cyclone Slice. So we know what this armor focuses on, right? It wants to give, it wants to utilize Temporal Blade and Cyclone Slice and to be up close to your enemies doing massive damage. The second piece of gear we got here is the Armor of the Edge of Time. And the two mods this one has is Rebound, a level 3 mod, which is a Cyclone Slice Enhancement. While the skill is active, reflect 50% of incoming bullets back at enemies. That's pretty good. I wasn't digging this power from a, a visual standpoint, but I'm already seeing how this armor is going to make it completely OP. With a level 1 mod, Wind Slash, Cyclone Slice increases the skill damage by over 21,000 uh hit points pretty again powerful it's it's a specific you can tell it's going to be a very specific style of play and moving on to gloves of the edge of time we got a level three mod life of the party incoming damage is reduced by five percent for each enemy in close range stacking up to eight times meaning up to eight enemies around you it will reduce it up to five percent so what uh forty percent potentially with a level one mod temporal blade reduces the skills cooldown so i feel like this is definitely going to be favorable for the tanky version of this class to become the ultimate tank sort of so i say with this piece of armor uh, meaning that you're reflecting bullets you are reducing damage close by but also when you're close you're also doing a lot of damage but the interesting thing i don't from what i remember from the skill tree there's not a lot of upgrades for the temporal blade in the tank class which is the middle skill tree so maybe you'll have to kind of mix and match them a little bit both or give kind of focus more on the damage output and then have a little bit of tankiness as well again we're gonna have to see i'm just talking about it on the spot i haven't researched every single fine point in fine new detail i'm doing this more free form for this video but the next one we got is Pants of the Edge of Time. And this one has a level 3 mod, Ultimate Duration. Cyclone Slice adds another 10 seconds of skill duration. Again, great. Run into the crowd. Because I think the original one lasts maybe for like 5 seconds. And no more than that. So imagine 15 seconds just keep slicing everybody up. And then Temporal Blade right after that. Or Temporal Blade first and then Cyclone Slice, right? And the second one we got is Strong Slice. Temporal Blade increases the skill's damage by another 69 over 69,000 uh, damage. And the last part we got here is the Footwear of the Edge of Time. This one has Temporal Armor. So Temporal Blade boosts armor by 75% for each enemy affected. Lasts 10 seconds and stacks up to 8 times. And then it has Double Stop. Temporal Blade increases the duration of the inflicted paralysis by 100%. So 100%. I mean, I don't think there's much to break down in terms of what this style favors, as I mentioned before. 
and definitely favoring these two kinds of skills maybe there's going to be other temporal blade or cyclone slice skills that will uh, mods will be able to attach to this armor to make it even more powerful because i feel like maybe some of the level one mods there'll be a level three mod of the, the version of that to make it even more power even more powerful as i've discussed in my last legendary video we have discovered that there are some well i don't know if it's for all mods but there are higher tier versions of mods uh, that we've seen on certain weapons so that could be a factor now let's move on to the second armor set we got here and it's going to be the trespassers armor set uh, now in the trespassers cowl which is the head we got two mods and it's going to be slow trap so delivery of time level three mod slow trap activating the skill replenishes ammo for every ally's current weapon in the sphere's range and then we got the second mod, Long Range, which is a level 1 mod. Time Rift triples the skill's damage uh, range. So that's immobilizing enemies, from what I understand, as much as we can. And with the armor set we got here, players can't die while inside the slow trap. I remember them mentioning this, and I, I mentioned it in one of my videos before. That's going to be uh, definitely a team-based, I think. It's going to be more of a team-based build, really helping everybody survive as long as possible and immobilizing enemies as much as you can while you know doing some of your own damage and opening up the enemies for attacks. We got a second piece here, Trespass's Armor. And in here, we got a level 3 mod, which is Damage Mitigation. Slow Trap, allies within the sphere receive 20% less damage. So now you're stopping them on the other one, activating the skill, replenishes ammo. So you're replenishing ammo for your friends, and then you're also reducing the damage that's in the Slow Trap. With the second mod here, Ultimate Big Range is Slow Trap increases the sphere's range by 2 meters. Again, the circle is not huge from the beginning, so this is nice to really expand it even more. Get your friends, you know, if you especially if you sync it up correctly, it kind of already suggests that we really should be playing in a team, especially probably on expeditions on World Tier 15. So this kind of reinforces teamwork. Moving on to Trespassers Talents, we got a level 3 mod Pain Transfer, Time Rift, 10% of weapon damage and 30% of anomaly damage dealt to one affected enemy will be transferred to another affected enemy. I guess that's going to be at whoever's in within the time rift. And the second mod being double time, which enemies are suspended in air for two times longer. Nice, because it is pretty short. Uh, when we get to see the power kind of work on the area shotgun master, or area master, sorry, shotgun, or the time rift in the videos, it doesn't last long from the onset. So this is definitely going to boost it up a lot. And the next one we got here is trespassers britches uh we got the first mod level three and it's called and another one time rift shots on an enemies affected by the skill do not consume ammo so that's again really cool and that's to mention and another one is a gg Khaled kind of reference which is a little bit funny and we got a level one mod a little bit of pain time rift using the skill deals over sixty-one thousand damage over 10 seconds to affected targets again really reinforcing time rift I am not a huge fan of the power itself yet. I'm sure my opinion is going to be swayed once I can see what I can do with it. And this kind of gives me uh, an inside look into what's going to be happening. And the last one we got here is Trespassers Boots. And we got a level 3 mod, Stare into the Barrel, which boosts your firepower by 63,000 for each enemy in close range and stacks up to 5 times. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty strong. Okay. Uh, and then we got Weakening Zone. I can already see using this mod for another armor set if I'm able to uh, disassemble it. And then we got a second mod, Weakening Zone, Slow Trap. Enemies entering the sphere are affected by, afflicted by weakness. Pretty good. I mean, this is pretty good armor. So far, I like the God of the Edge of Time armor a little bit more. It's more to my playstyle. But let's see what's the last armor set we got here. Now, the last armor we got is the... I can't pronounce that. Gake Otora's uh armor set and starting with the cowl we got instant reload uh so it's a level three hunt the perk uh hunt the prey per uh, mod it teleporting instantly replenishes a magazine in your current weapon sweet that's something i'll find useful along with eager edges a level one uh vena venators uh, knife adds two more bounces during the ricochet path 
And the set bonus we got here is Hunt the Prey does not consume cooldown while teleporting behind an enemy marked with the Ven Venator's knife. Okay, sorry I'm mispronouncing it, by the way. I'm not sure how to... Venator's... Venator's knife. Whatever. Let's keep moving. Uh, moving on to the Talisman, which is the upper armor. It's going to be a level 3 mod, Sniper Blades. So the Venator's uh, knife increases the skill's range by 50%. I am not, the people displaying this skill so far haven't done a good job of displaying what it does. So I'm still kind of on the fence of how it's really going to work. I need to see kind of in gameplay and test it myself. But the second mod is going to be a level one Dance of Death. Hunt the Prey decreases the skill's cooldown by 20%, which would be very useful kind of hopping around the map left and right. This is kind of where I can see here. It's This is more of a in and out kind of a build. You're running in and out, striking different enemies. The next piece of armor we got here is going to be the arms wraps, arm wraps, sorry. And it's going to be the first mod is ready for anything, a level three mod. 10% of critical damage dealt to elites return to you as health. Sweet. Obviously, this, this character, uh, Trix, is going to depend a lot on healing himself back very quickly, uh, especially if you're not going for the the tankier build so it's going to be interesting how we kind of utilize it the one thing we have to also take into account i don't remember this by memory is that certain skill trees favor certain types of skills so we have to take into account whatever armor you get and what kind of skill tree you get and of course what kind of weapons you get that's really going to determine which of the skill trees you kind of have to go through based on what you're trying to create and the second mod we got here is backstabber level one it's a hunt to prey using the skill deals over 79,000 damage to enemy to and to enemy you teleport behind one thing about hunt to prey right now it's a little weird the way you teleport sometimes the camera gets all messed up so hopefully they fix it up for the final game moving on to the waist cloth we got the boomerang blades which the venator's knife a level three mod after the initial ricocheted knife will repeat its path and damage enemies a second time so if you're able to make it ricochet between let's say five enemies and then have it go around a couple of times that would be really good uh with the second mod time blast hunt the prey apply slow in a five meter radius around the enemy you teleport behind pretty good uh i'm just not the venator's knife i'm sure it's a useful skill it's not visually pleasing to me and again i know it's very superficial of me to be basing something based on the way it looks but for me it's always been the case it's a visuals is half and functionality is the other half so I'll, i will pick a play style that looks cool and create a build around it rather than to have the most efficient build in the world i've never been like if i really don't like using let's say a heavy weapon i'm not going to be using a heavy weapon just because it's the most powerful weapon but i know everybody approaches this a little bit different moving on to the boots we got a level three mod not impressed reduces the damage taken by elites by 20 percent as well as the venator's knife a second mod sharpening increases the skills damage by 23,000, a little bit over 23,000. so these are the three armor sets we got in this leak for the trickster make sure to stick around for other videos i'm going to release uh perhaps one more video this uh today so you can see i'm probably going to do pyromancer as well and then i'll do devastator and technomancer as, as well of course as we get to it but make sure you subscribe down below to get those videos so you're always on top of outriders content i'm going to be releasing as much content as i can around outriders especially once the game releases and i hope you enjoyed this video overall and enjoy the rest of your day guys take care